Hotep Scorpio. Welcome to your March 2021 reading. I'm Cosmic Divine Tarot, and I want to get you three shuffles so that we could just go ahead and dive right into this reading. Okay? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on in your love life for March 2021? Let's see. What do we got for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Lilith. Okay, here we got the Empress. Scorpio. It looks like somebody uh, right here is bowing down, begging for your forgiveness, okay? It looks like somebody is like, you know, wanting to uh, just be with you by any accounts, okay? But you're sitting up here booty butt naked with all your clothes off and you don't look like you too happy with this person because you got a dark face here with the wind blowing in it like you don't even want to hear what this person has to say, okay? You're like, I am the Empress, I don't care about what it is that you you already knew that I was the empress. So I don't care about what you're saying to me. Mm. Acting like you want to come and get on your knees and beg for my forgiveness. Why you want to do that? Oh, because we got two cards here talking about the strength and the hermit. Because this person is holding on to you for their life. They know that if they let this connection go, ah, oh, baby, they're going to slide down off of this uh, cliff right here and hurt themselves pretty bad. Because they are already fallen. They have fallen in love with you. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is a, a hermit right here. Virgo. Somebody who's been thinking about you, somebody who's been, you know, remembering what you smell like, what you taste like, and they just is in complete and utter like uh, despair because you're no longer there with them, uh, Scorpio. The Empress is all the signs, though. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Judgment. Also, this person is under complete and utter judgment. They're in the hot seat, bowing down. Ooh. Your judgment, or, you know, since you're already naked right here, the judgment could be that this person just went ahead and laid you out anyway, Scorpio. Because you're sitting up here, you're like, yeah, what the heck do you want? I ain't trying to hear you. I ain't trying to deal with you. But this person right here is going to lay your body out, get you booty butt naked any daggone way, okay? This person is going to be somebody who tries their best to satisfy you. Because, like I said, if they let go of this connection, they going to fall uh pretty hard pretty hard and it's not going to be anything nice and let's see what else we have for scorpio here we go scorpio Ooh, is that why scorpio because this person uh is bowing down in between your legs but they are also giving you all types of heated messages where they're talking to you to get you all warm and and juicy in between your legs okay so i feel that that's the reason why you or this person was able to come to you and you know ask for forgiveness and then get down there in between your legs and start you know what i'm saying laying you out with all types of orgasms okay scorpio here we go here we go yeah this person holding on to the wand baby this tree trunk could be the wand could be a male scorpio see we got the four i mean the nine of fire here this girl right here got her hands all on his wand okay that's what they're grabbing hold of like listen scorpio i know i have to satisfy you sexually okay i know that when we're out and about doing our thing that i need to be making sure that you are still turned on <laughs> you need somebody like that in your corner let me see scorpio oh we got the six of water okay scorpio it looks like um 
You're somebody who's still in your feelings about what happened between y'all. Okay, this person trying to persuade you to come out of the water with a little booty. Okay, trying to bend over and show you that, you know, they want you to be all up in it. Now, like I said, they need there's somebody who needs to have you turned on because you're the god and goddess of sex. All right, so you like selling your feelings a little bit right here, though. It's like, you know, you don't know if you want to come on up out of this water. You don't know if you want to come up out of how you feel about this person. Like, you know, you don't know if you want to be with them. Ooh, this hermit right here is a very bold one. Like I said, they still smell you. They still taste you. They still remember what you look like. This is a dog's face right here. Baby, they can probably smell you from miles away with them up there in the daggone, uh, you know, mountains and whatnot. Or they could be just sniffing your panties while they up there because now here they are at your house with the seven of water you just trying to take a shower scorpio this person coming all up in your house all armored up because they uh are afraid to be hurt or afraid of rejection and you got your deck on uh all your clothes off in the shower just having a good old time trying to relax at home this person coming in the daggone bathroom they're coming in the bathroom and then what scorpio oh king of water so this person has a whole bunch of stuff they want to do to you and that's the reason why you're laid out right here on the judgment because the king of water is somebody who don't wear their emotions on their sleeve yeah he's going to be armored up not showing you exactly how he feels when he comes in there okay the king of water could be you Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces, okay? It could be that you are sitting there like this. Maybe this person makes you feel uneasy, okay? Maybe this person makes you feel uneasy when they just came into the bathroom like that. I got to get you one more card. I got to get you another clarifier, baby. You got two more cards, actually. Okay, yeah. This person sitting up there holding in their emotions, but this person on ran to your house. Here's the night of air. This person on rushed to your place of residence trying to get trying to get you like I said laid out trying to talk to you passionately trying to you know apologize to you and bow down in between your legs yeah they rushed in to that bathroom and looking like you know they want to say something Scorpio they want to say something to you they want to tell you oh my goodness how sexy you look in that daggone shower here is the two of water baby Okay, so they rushing in into the shower too, Scorpio. Here y'all both are in the water. You trying to get out the shower because you don't want to deal with this person. But baby, this is the two of that going water here. So this person don't care you trying to get out the shower. They're going to hold you in the shower. Okay, now here you got, uh, you know, you try to put like a little towel on to cover up the boobies and whatnot, but this person is just holding you. It looks like this person right here, okay? These two look alike to me. Dark hair and whatnot. He just got a white shirt on, he got a blue shirt on. But that could be just a jacket that he's wearing. And it could be a blue shirt underneath that jacket, okay? Because look like him. This person coming to your house, holding you uh, in the bathtub, rushing at you, okay? Mm. Rushing at you in the shower, saying that you deserve love. They want to love you. They feel that you are lovable, okay? And with the two of water, this person is just, you know, very emotional about keeping you with them. Very emotional about, you know, you staying with them. It's like, I'm thinking you tried to go ahead and leave. Like, here you are in the six of water right here, Scorpio. You know, maybe, you know, you don't want this person holding on to you. Maybe you want this person to go ahead and find their way elsewhere. You know, Scorpio, because it's like, look, you ain't got this person to do. Now they want to talk to you and try to get you uh, to have all types of orgasms on the phone. But let's go ahead and get into these. Moonology. Here we got work through your fears. Here's your card, Scorpio. New moon in Scorpio. Okay. So it could be this person had to work through the fears of, you know, you rejecting them. Because we got the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is a full moon in Capricorn. 
okay? Capricorns are people who move very slow, slowly to what it is that they're doing. And then, you know, after they reach their their destination, then a new, the end of the, the tough cycle of them moving so slow approached and it came into play. Now here we got expect powerful change. New moon eclipse, all right? So, yeah, expect a powerful change because, you know, expect this person to be rushing in, in the bathtub, in the shower, holding you in the shower. Just, and I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily a sexual thing right now because you're just trying to get out the shower and they're trying to hold you in. Now, here we have the dark mirror, which is a uh, downcast pride. So, that is... Uh, Somebody working through their fears because they had to get rid of the pride and the ego, okay? Downcast that because it's the pride and the ego that was causing them to be all fearful and nervous alone in the world and alone in the world, okay? Somebody by themselves, somebody who's a hermit who don't have anybody else. Okay, it was their ego causing them to be that way. Now here we have a triumph of lies of lies baby so maybe your whole situation ended because of lies okay maybe people were telling all types of lies on your person or on you to uh you know your person triumph of lies it could be the lies are you know that they are fearful you know Let's see. Now you got the sacred destiny. We have uh, these cards here. Wisdom. Okay. Wisdom. This tells me, Scorpio, you have a lot of wisdom. Okay. You can see through this whole situation. You can already see that this person is about to come back at you. Okay. Which is the reason why you're doing a stillness right now. You're doing a stillness because you already know, because you're already wise enough to know that this person has strong feelings for you, but has a lot of fear as well. Okay. Scorpio, here is forgiveness. So it's because of your wisdom. And it's because of you knowing how to keep still and letting the, the person come to you. Okay, that you forgave this person because you had a peace of mind, Scorpio, or you need to. I know you be holding on to things for a long time. It may just be time to let go, baby. Here's leadership. Take the leadership role in your own life and just let go of all the pain that this person was causing you in the past. You know what I'm saying? Now here's the uh, the light seers. We got the uh, the high priestess. The only reason why this person was causing you pain in the past is because of how slow they were moving. And you need this person to pick up the pace, Scorpio. Okay, your high priestess, you've been getting downloads from the universe. You've been getting downloads from your ancestors. Uh, you know, helping you be wise and just forgive this person in the stillness of you two not being together. Here is the king of wands. Okay, this is you being still right here. You being still listening to your divine guidance, listening to what uh, your ancestors, the universe, the deity, your God that you worship, okay, it's telling you. Now, here's the will, the divine will, okay? So, this is like, you know, because you've done this, now you get the will to turn in your favor because you had to be still, baby. You know what I'm saying? Just be still. Don't even... Don't even stress out about anything. Don't worry about anything. Just have your peace of mind. Be still and, uh, you know, let this person come to you when they're ready. But in the meantime, you're not going to be sitting there like, okay, well, uh, I'm missing this person. I need this person. No, baby. You are just doing your thing, taking showers, lighting your incense, relaxing around your house, taking baths, okay? Just chilling. And this person coming back to you like, listen, I love you. Please don't leave me. I love you. Please. I'm sorry about what I've done. I'm so sorry. They're so sorry, Scorpio. Mm. And they miss touching your body, okay? 
Now, if this has been your reading, my darling, then hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know that we'll be uploading new messages for you, Scorpio. And if this isn't your message, then don't worry about that. Just come on back next time and let me get you then, okay? Yeah. Now, Scorpio, if you'd like to donate to my channel, the link to my Cash App as well as my PayPal is in the description box below. And I certainly will appreciate your donations. Love. So, until next time, lovely, peace, love, and light. Hotel.